Actress Mackenzie Phillips, best known for her role in the TV show One Day at a Time, faced a tempestuous journey marked by her complex relationship with her father, Mamas and Papas guitarist John Phillips. Her career, which took off with roles in American Graffiti, her career was shadowed by struggles with substance abuse and personal turmoil. In her recently published autobiography, High on Arrival, she revealed a shocking and distressing aspect of her life, a long-term inappropriate relationship with her father. Facts First presents Mackenzie Phillips addresses the intimate relationship with her father. Early Years and Secret Struggles Mackenzie Phillips' journey to fame was paved by her musical lineage as the daughter of John Phillips, leader of the iconic 60s band The Mamas and the Papas. Surrounded by music from birth, Mackenzie formed her own band at just 12 years old, demonstrating her creative talents. This early exposure led her to a breakout acting role at 15 in George Lucas's American Graffiti. Her performance opened doors to a lead part on the hit sitcom One Day at a Time, alongside other projects like the Disney Channel series So Weird. Though still a teenager, Mackenzie earned critical acclaim for her acting abilities. Her early successes on these high-profile shows cemented her status as a rising star in Hollywood at a remarkably young age. To outsiders, it appeared she was on a direct path for a long career. Her journey from a young, promising actress to a Hollywood star was marred by a series of significant personal challenges, particularly her struggle with substance abuse. Born into a world of fame and music, her life took a darker turn as she grappled with these issues from a very young age. Mackenzie was exposed to numerous mind-altering and illegal substances in her home environment. Her father, John Phillips, introduced her to rolling joints when she was just 10, and by 11 she had already tried harder drugs. This early exposure set the stage for her later struggles with addiction. By 1975, both Mackenzie and her father were battling opiate addiction. This profoundly impacted her life, including her performance on the set of One Day at a Time. Her addiction led her to being fired from the show on two occasions due to its impact on her professional commitments and performances. Despite her challenges, she sought treatment for her addiction when she was 18. But understanding and overcoming her addiction was a long process, involving both external and internal work. Her journey through addiction and recovery was not linear, marked by periods of sobriety followed by relapses. For instance, after a decade of sobriety, she experienced a public and difficult relapse in 2008. This resulted in felony narcotics possession charges. Following this, she re-entered treatment and has since seen significant improvement in her life. Her experience with addiction deeply affected her, both personally and professionally. It led to her eventual shift in career focus, where she went back to school and became a counselor, working in drug and alcohol treatment. She also shared her experiences in her second book, Hopeful Healing, and continued to act in various projects while maintaining her commitment to helping others with similar struggles. Mackenzie's journey isn't solely about her battle with substance abuse. It's also a tale of her strength and capacity to change her life. Her story demonstrates the intricacies of addiction and the potential of recovery. Shocking Revelations in High on Arrival in her autobiography, High on Arrival, Mackenzie Phillips revealed some deeply personal and troubling aspects of her life, particularly regarding her relationship with her father, John Phillips. One of the most shocking disclosures was that she had an incestuous relationship with her father, which she described as initially non-consensual, but later became consensual. This relationship reportedly began when she was a teenager and continued until she was 29. She described the relationship's start as a result of rape when she was under the influence of drugs, a situation she later equated to Stockholm Syndrome. The relationship eventually ended when she became pregnant and was uncertain about the paternity of the child, leading to her father paying for an abortion. Mackenzie also discussed her struggles with drug addiction, detailing incidents such as her father injecting her with drugs for the first time. Her drug abuse issues were a significant part of her life, including a public arrest for possession of hard drugs just before her 50th birthday. The revelations in High on Arrival were a bombshell, especially considering her public image and her roles in shows like One Day at a Time. Her story highlighted the hidden realities of familial abuse and trauma, especially within a family under the public eye. 
Her stepmother, Michelle Phillips, initially reacted with skepticism and anger to Mackenzie's claims, suggesting that Mackenzie might be struggling with mental illness and jealousy towards her siblings. But other family members, like her half-sister China Phillips, believed Mackenzie's claims, acknowledging the difficulty of coming forward with such allegations. The Complex Father-Daughter Relationship and Lasting Impact Mackenzie Phillips' autobiography provided an intimate look into her traumatic relationship with her father, John Phillips. As the daughter of a famous musician, she grew up in an environment surrounded by drug use, excess, and few rules or boundaries. She started abusing substances early on, encouraged by John's own severe addiction issues. This set the stage for an incredibly dysfunctional dynamic between father and child. According to Mackenzie's account, her relationship with John took a disturbing turn when she was 19. She alleges he sexually assaulted her the night before her wedding, leading to an illicit affair that lasted nearly a decade. This experience inflicted severe emotional damage that Phillips continues to grapple with today. Even once sober, memories of the abuse contributed to relapses as Mackenzie struggled with guilt, pain, and unresolved anguish. Mackenzie's Resilience Despite the turmoil this revelation caused, Mackenzie has shown incredible resilience. After years of relapse, she's maintained her sobriety and now works as an addiction counselor. Drawing from her personal experiences with trauma and substance abuse, she helps others find hope in their own recovery journey. She manages a treatment center, hosts a recovery-focused podcast, and acts as a vocal advocate for those struggling with similar issues. Though memories of the past abuse still haunt her, she focuses on, quote, forgiveness for herself, a crucial part of healing. She describes her state today as at peace, showing incredible strength despite years of unimaginable pain. Returning to acting while continuing advocacy work. In recent years, she's returned to acting while also continuing her advocacy work in the recovery space. She scored a role on Netflix's reboot of One Day at a Time, playing a new character named Pam Valentine. Though different from her original breakout role decades prior, it represented coming full circle after immense personal growth. She also appeared on a full season of Orange is the New Black, demonstrating her continued draw even after significant time out of the spotlight. Though acting was once interrupted by substance abuse issues, Mackenzie now balances entertainment gigs with her work as an addiction counsel. Rather than hiding her past, she incorporates it into new creative projects as well. She co-hosts the previously mentioned recovery-focused podcast called America Recovers with fellow counselor Brad Lamb. Now it's time to hear from you. What surprised you most about this story? Let us know in the comments section below.